Well, this is my 18 foot shy poke. My buddy Drew called me out of the blue a couple months ago and said, I got something for you, you're gonna love. It's something you've been looking for. Gets me all excited, shows me what it used to look like and we show up and we go to this backyard and you see about 20% of the boat. And when I say 20% of the boat, I mean it's covered by the Amazon jungle from vines, trees, patio tables, everything you can imagine is just completely encapsulated. Sitting there, you, you really didn't know what you were getting into other than all the debris, all the garbage, everything that you were gonna have to throw out and get through. And then on top of it, the motor was blown. <laughs> it's a little hard to digest at first and kind of just think that it's gonna be something that you're gonna be wanting to dive into and take 10 miles offshore the way it's looking. But like a lot of things in my life, it's this this was it. I From the second I saw it, it was mine. It was gonna be mine. And uh, putting your, your sweat into it and making it yours and then giving it to you, your kids. That's what I'm doing it for. <laughs> Locking your truck in four wheel drive just to move it out from where it was, that's, <laughs> you better be ready because it's gonna, it's gonna bring a lot. So when we brought the boat back, kind of looking at this whole beast of a, uh, of a project, uh, with the tree growing out of the back of it, you kind of want to get that cut away. There's palm fronds, there's three inches of debris, uh, probably a good 2,500 cockroaches. There's everything laying in this boat. Stepping back after an hour and just finally seeing all the debris out, you start to take form of what you actually got yourself into. And when we're ready to start, we had uh, Starbright had hull cleaner. Uh, the hull cleaner was sprayed on, uh, poured on in some applications in some, in some areas of the boat, and you let it sit for three to five minutes, and you can start seeing everything starting to lift, uh, things getting lighter. After we let it sit, uh, came back with a medium kind of brush and started just basically wiping everything off. The hull cleaner pretty much did 98% of the work. Uh, no matter how my boat was covered with three inches of dirt, and it, it's gone. Um, after that, it was heavy stains. If there was a stain, um, we came back with the deck boat scuffer and kind of just rubbed everything out. That was really the lifesaver. That was the last 2% of any of the stains that were there. The hull cleaner didn't get, it was just stain. You take the, the boat scuffer and rub it out, you had a brand new boat. There was nothing left other than just your white boat. It was, everything was gone. As we got out of the boat, we started cleaning the outside of the hull. Um, and sitting for so long, there was just everything growing on the side. Took the hull cleaner, sprayed it on, let it do its thing for a couple minutes, and then came back again with a soft brush. Everything came right off. Um, it, it was perfect, it was perfect. Every little stain that was there, we did have to go back and, and kind of use um, Starbright's Easy On, Easy Off, uh, which is a little bit more aggressive. You spray it on there and it does its own thing. I mean, you don't have to touch it. It, it basically will just rid itself of anything that was on the boat uh, and then you get your boat back. So after everything lifts off and it, it's clean, I can start to see what I want it to be. Uh, and, and you wanted her to shine a little bit, so um, you come back and basically put the heavy duty cleaner wax on there, spread it on, and just let your, your buffer go to work. One of the best products I've ever used. It, it, for heavy oxidation, it lifted everything, and within a couple coats, I did two coats, and I was looking at myself in the boat. It, it, it was beautiful. It, I mean, she really started to take form, and it was really, one of those, she's mine. I'm not doing all this to sell it five years from now, especially after all the work you put into it and all the fun times yet to come, it's mine. Well, she's uh, pretty much all done. The shy folks been in the water and been up and down the state already. She's been everywhere from catching 100 pound tarpons to throwing lobsters in the boat with the, the family and uh, catching everything in between. Uh, she's been absolutely dream, putting the new trolling motor back on, getting repowered, 
new electronics, the steering on it has made a world of difference. Just everything about it, the polishing, the non-skid that went on top, uh, sweating into it and working on it and just making everything mine. Having to help along the way, Starbright giving me the chemicals to just bring this piece of coal to a diamond. Uh, my family absolutely loves it. My kids, we spend every weekend. It's the best investment I've ever made in my entire life. Um, my second home has always been on the water and this boat has actually made my dream come true.